it's pretty early. We came in about 6, 6.30 this morning, and we're gonna move a lot of animals out of the river. Right now, this river habitat displays alligator gar, which is this large guy right here in front of us. And then some of the smaller, narrow snouted species are called longnose gar. Gar are a very ancient fish with a pretty unique body form. So alligator gar can look like alligators, which is where they get their name, but they're indeed a fish. The smaller gar will kind of <laughs> stick their rostrum right through this hole. So we're going to use these finer mesh nets so that they can't really break a hole through them. We had this exciting idea to convert this into a bayou swamp full of alligators. So we've got a lot of fish to move, and we're going to send them to our uh, offsite holding facility. After construction is complete, the garden will actually come back to the same habitat. We'll just live in a different section separate from the alligators. So of course, all the gar have already moved to the deeper side. Of course. Even though they're not aggressive fish, they are pretty toothy. Perfect. And him right up. Excellent, thank you. Even the closed mouth contacting your skin can cause abrasions. So we'll be careful to avoid contact with the head. And we're slipping. <laughs> All right, this one's bigger, but he swam right into the net on his own. I don't see anybody else over here. Brilliant. All right, so he looks comfy in there. Let's go ahead and grab Dwight. Dwight is our only lake sturgeon, which is an iconic southeastern fish. He's been with us for 15 years. OK, everybody looks calm, so they'll be in good shape to go down to the loading bay. The truck is on site, so we'll transfer all the gar and sturgeon that we have from these containers to the transport truck. If you can be receiving, that would be perfect. We'll stretch them up here, and then we'll hand them off. Sounds good. There we go. You're OK, buddy. This is the last fish. One, two, three. There we go. Beautiful. Construction will begin, and in about three months, We'll have alligators in that space. I'm here in St. Augustine, Florida, to meet with Jim Darlington, the curator of reptiles at the Alligator Farm Zoological Park. Oh, guys, look at that crocodile. He's opening his mouth. This institution teaches guests about crocodilian conservation. Here at the uh, St. Augustine Alligator Farm, we have long history, been here for over 125 years. We have a lot of conservation efforts, more than 24 species of crocodilia. That's everything alligator looking. God, you're huge. It's ridiculous. We're here to meet some albino alligators and bring them back to Atlanta with us to help start this new exhibit. Good morning. You see him kind of jockeying up? Oh, yeah. He reacts immediately. The three larger animals in here are getting ready to go to the Georgia Aquarium. Yeah, this, this one definitely top dog. Yeah. You got that's some your, size that's on your him. third guy. These albino alligators are the same species as the dark alligators that you see and are familiar with. There you go, bud. The only difference is this genetic condition that prevents them from producing pigment. Aren't you full of yourself? Going back to the pool. <laughs> yeah, that one uh, has a high opinion of himself. <laughs> they are almost never seen in the wild because they're stark white, so they're easy prey for predators when they're young. They can see dark from light and notice movement but they are vision impaired. <laughs> the turtle's not shy either over there. Living with alligators, you gotta be pretty bold. They have the same jaw strength and the same teeth that any other alligator has at that size. We have to be really careful. Got, got the tape and a towel. And the towel, that'd be good. The first thing we're gonna do is secure the jaws so they can't bite themselves or bite us. And then we're gonna place them into a duffel bag. It's dark and it's quiet. And they tend to relax and, and take a nap. All right. There we go. Here we go. All right, number two. And now the one that likes to hide. Yeah, he's the biggest. All one. right, this is number three. Excellent. Right here. Okay. There we go. All right. Like to see some spunk. They're ready to go. 
Their first stop is going to be our animal care facility where they'll go through their normal quarantine process before they become the first inhabitants of our new alligator exhibit. We have our alligator gar, long nose gar, and Dwight coming back to the river in the River Scout Gallery. So they were brought over to our animal care facility just temporarily while we were building out a new exhibit, and now they're coming home. Ready? Smooth as silk. Welcome back. So you've never seen this side of the exhibit. This is new territory for this alligator gar. Good work all. The gators are here! Should we get right there? Gator time! Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll keep calm now, now that the animals are out. <laughs> Hi. Hello, guys. Welcome home. Yeah, they're going to look good on exhibit. Oh, they're going to look gorgeous. Don't worry, kids. We're pulling in the neighborhood now. Have you seen it yet, Mark? I have not seen this. What do you think? Oh, this looks amazing. Yeah. That's a complete transformation of what it used to look like. Hopefully they like it as much as we do. Here's what I was thinking. Okay. There's three gators, three of you. Which one grab a gator? <laughs> All right. There you go. There you go. You're good. There we go. Nice and easy, nice and quiet. Start taking some tape off. It's OK, baby. It's OK. There we go. Say, I'm a gator. Can I come a little closer and say that? Stay right there. <laughs> I know. I see your eyes. I know. Almost done. All right, y'all ready? ready? Nice and easy. <laughs> there you go. See? Perfect. There we go. Good. There we go. Perfect. Yes! <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go see from the front. Oh, there's one right there. You see the reflection right there? There you are. You feel that flow right there, don't you? <laughs> There's one right in the, in the corner. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I and mean, this is a, a big change for them. 